I don't know where I was. It was like a, a place. I don't know if it was a Rocky Mountain, but it was dark. And then I hear a voice that said like a clear man's voice with a simplicity, but a boldness. It said, the final hour is here. Oh, we're in the final hour. That's exactly what it said. God bless you guys. It's me, Crystal Love for Jesus, back with another video. I pray you're having a blessed and awesome and wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. So y'all, today I have for you a wonderful brother who emailed this to me. So thank you so much. You are a soldier for Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name, y'all, we have to pay attention because the Lord, He is coming soon. He is coming so soon. You have no idea how soon He is actually coming. We are at the 2,000 year mark. We are at the 6,000 year mark. We are at the end of the church age. We are getting ready for Jesus to come back now. He has died on the cross. He has rose again from the grave and he is coming to receive his church. We are going to be leaving. You need to make sure that you are right with God. Those who are right with God, not lukewarm, not backslidden Christians, only those who are focused on Jesus, who are repenting on a daily basis, obeying the Lord Jesus Christ and following him. Amen. Not those who are falling away in the faith, not those who are losing faith. Amen. If you are losing faith in Christ, if you are starting to tr thinking about going back into the world, you better wake your butt up, you know, slap yourself if you need to, because he is coming soon. We need to pay attention. We need to be focused on the Lord. And he said in the last days in Acts 2, 17, Let's go to it. Acts 2.17. Let's go. In the, the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. In those days, I will pour out my spirit even on my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. And I will cause wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will become dark and the moon will turn blood red before that great and glorious day of the Lord arrives. But everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And I wanted to read the notes for that. Oh, yeah. So that's from Joel 2, 28 to 32. So Acts, he is... Yeah, he's speaking from Joel. This is in the word of God. Jesus is trying to tell us that this is going to happen. You don't have to be a prophet to have these dreams and visions. It literally says on my servants, men and women alike, they are going to prophesy. Come on, people. We need to wake up. We need to realize that Jesus is coming soon. We need to be focused on God. Amen. And so we're going to go ahead and get into this and see what exactly he experienced. So let's go. What's up, everyone? My name is Marty, and um, I had a few dreams I just wanted to share. Mind you, I'm just a regular guy. I'm not a prophet or anything like that. And I'm um, a believer in Jesus Christ. Well, the first one I had a dream way back when I was younger. And, um, you know, I seen like, you know, like it looked like volcano erupted all around or like you know, it was the ground, it was just, everything was on fire and then flaming fireballs were flying around. And then I seen two ancient men, like kind of how they dressed in Jesus's day and um, with, with big beards. And I seen like a flag in the sky. I think it was on the helicopter and it was red. So I'm not sure if that represents china or russia or anything like that um or japan but it was it was definitely a a red sign a red flag and um that was back then and every dream we have sometimes we can't say it to the clearest ability because it just it just happens randomly when you least expect it so then after that, I had another rapture dream where we all went up like um, like beams fast, like like fast, fast, like sonic. And um, you could see like a blue glow just shoot up like it was quick. 
then I had another dream. I was riding a bike through a desert, a mountain bike. And I seen something on my right far end, like an explosion. It looked like a mushroom explosion. And then I seen something over in Texas. Texas was highlighted. And then I seen um, the ground like cracking, almost like like if an earthquake and I'm I'm running home, trying to call home. And I tell some guy, he's like a neighbor, a white guy, I said, repent, um, I think I said the sinner's prayer with him or something. And then I made it home. And um, that was that one. And then I had another one where I was like falling asleep, drifting off. And as I went to sleep, it was like the moon shut off. And then I could hear like the sound of a light was like, like it was that quick. And then I opened my eyes. That was trippy. And then this recent one I had, I don't know where I was. It was like a, a place, like, I don't know if it was a Rocky Mountain, but it was dark. And then I hear a voice that said like a clear man's voice with a simplicity, but a boldness. It said, the final hour is here. Oh, we're in the final hour. That's exactly what it said. You know, I was hit in the dream. Like if I lost a loved one, that's how it felt when I heard the voice say that. So, you know, those are the encounters I had and I just wanted to share it. I truly believe in my spirit. God is trying to warn us to whoever's out there hearing you know, I plead with you to just turn to Jesus, repent of your sins, ask him to forgive you, confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe that God sent his son to die for us and raise him on the third day. He's alive and he's coming back. God bless you all. Your brother Marty. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Marty. I love your name, too. It's such a good name. Amen. Glory to God, y'all. What'd you guys think of that? I loved it. Um, no, I didn't love the destruction, okay? I just think about that. Like, sometimes when I say that, I love your dream, and then it's, you know, talking about, like, destruction and stuff and stuff like that. But no, every time I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking, like, Jesus is giving us signs. Jesus is giving us signs. He's warning us. He's telling us he's coming soon. He's telling us that we're living in the end times, right? And that's why I'm like, I love it. I love it that everyone's getting these dreams and visions, right? Because that's the power of God, right? That's the power of God for so many people all over the world who do not know each other to be receiving dreams and visions of the end times, right? And it's like, how much more, I don't even know, how much more evidence do you really need to see, you know, we're living in those days and we have to be on our game. We don't want to be that one that is going to see that destruction. And, you know, he said that he saw like fireballs and it's almost like you saw the two witnesses because in Revelations, it talks about during the tribulation time, there's so many of you guys who are be like, well, if the Christians are gone, then who's going to be preaching the gospel? Who's going to be preaching Jesus, right? <laughs> and it's like, dude, did you not read Revelations? Did you not read that the angel literally goes around preaching and saying that if anybody receives the mark of the beast, they shall receive their portion in the lake of fire, right? They're the angel preaching the gospel. He's also got the two witnesses. There's something about the 144,000 that I don't even know because it doesn't give us enough, you know. You can guess, but you don't know for sure. Uh, the 144,000 are male for the tribe of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Maybe they go around preaching the gospel. I don't know because it doesn't say. It just says God reserved them for himself. And so, who knows what that what happens with that, you know? And yeah, the two witnesses, you know, it's either two literal people or it's symbolic of there is going to be two groups of people that are like the two witnesses and they're going to have power. They're going to receive power during the great tribulation, right? Those who have the seal of God in their foreheads will not be harmed by the, um, those locusts that come out 
of the bottomless pit, you know? And so these are all things that it's in the book of Revelation. So it's very amazing, brother, that you saw this, you know? I, I just want to share this because I thought it was really funny. So you shared the scene right here. And it's actually a scene from World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's a scene from World of Warcraft. Anyways, I know that's totally off subject, but I just thought it was funny. Y'all, I love you so much. I hope that this video blessed you. And I hope that it's keeping you on your toes, keeping you ready to go in Jesus' name. So leave that down below in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Be on your toes and be ready to go. Just say that. Amen. With some hearts in there, please. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next one.